In just the past few years, scientists have been discovering the same building blocks of life we have here on Earth elsewhere in the universe. Oxygen, water, and methane, all found on planets outside of our solar system. Now, something else can be added to the mix. The carbon dioxide is the kind of the main focus of the excitement because that is a molecule that under the right circumstances could have a connection to biological activity as it does on Earth. The key phrase there, under the right circumstances, doesn't apply here. The planet Mark Swain and his team are looking at is way too hot, almost 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Still, astronomers believe the finding inches us closer to the ultimate goal. In the optical? The very fact that we're able to detect it and, and estimate how much of it there is is significant for the, the long-term effort of characterizing planets, um, both to find out what they're made of and to find out if they could be a possible host for life. In order to study a faraway atmosphere they can't even see, astronomers rely on studying the heat or infrared radiation coming off of it. First, they take a measurement when the planet is right next to its parent star. Then they check out the heat values when the planet is behind the star, subtract, and what's left over is the chemical signature of the planet. If you would have asked me five years ago, I would have said that in 50 years from now we probably would be able to detect molecules in the atmospheres of these planets. And actually we're doing it right now. Science is about learning and discovering the laws of nature and, and these laws are really uh, universal that you know anywhere you go in the universe the same laws apply. Laws that drive life here on Earth and maybe elsewhere. For the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, I'm Mary Estacion.